up, everybody. Survey says you're drinking the wrong beer. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Crack it already? <laughs> As you know, we're starting a second channel and we're gonna be drinking a lot of these bad boys. <laughs> we got berry ale, we got big orange. <laughs> you don't like big orange and you. <laughs> if you're in Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, or Ontario, gotcha. Don't forget to grab your white shell pack and scan your QR code for a chance to win. Enjoy the episode. A journal is a person's completely unaltered voice. The pen with which he writes serves as a spiritual conduit into the deepest corners of his being. Every secret of a writer's soul, every experience of his life, every quality of his mind is written with wholehearted honesty within the pages of his journal. For most people, journaling serves as a form of therapy. Through daily journaling, people are able to figure out who they are and what it takes to become the best version of themselves. But what about those who cannot be helped? What about those with twisted minds and demented thoughts? Does journaling help them improve the overall quality of their lives? Or does it only serve as a tool to exacerbate their deviance? From the farmlands of western Manitoba, a man named Richard sent us several pieces of incredible paranormal footage that he captured at his grandparents' old farmhouse. The footage absolutely blew us away. Immediately, we dropped everything and headed out to the farmhouse. Richard spent most summers at this house as a child. His grandparents lived here for as long as he has been alive. Being the only grandchild in his family, he inherited the house and surrounding land after both of his grandparents passed away three years ago. His grandfather battled colon cancer for years, until finally succumbing to it in early 2018. His grandmother suffered a stroke the following August, which took her life. Richard is a trucker who is rarely home, and because the land is still a fully functioning farm, he has a team of family members and hired help that look after the land and livestock while he's away. Things began to take a terrifying turn for Richard six months ago when he thought he heard rodents in his attic. He opened the attic door and poked his head into the enclosed space and saw nothing. But about five feet away from him, he saw an old journal covered in dust. He crawled into the attic, took the journal down with him, and cleaned it off before sitting down at the kitchen table to read it. In the journal, he read the writings of what appears to be a mentally ill war vet who hunted the surrounding lands. There are pages in the journal that describe in explicit detail what it's like to kill a man at close range, as well as his innermost fantasies of potentially killing again. Also included in the journal are descriptions of his own animal sacrifices and coordinates to places deep within the woods. Upon returning from road trips, Richard would notice things amiss in the house. He found open cabinets, lights turned on that he knows for certain that he turned off, as well as the smell of what he described to be a butcher shop and body odor. All of this leading him to believe that another man, possibly one of his hired workers, was living in his house. He began to set up cameras while he was away to catch the culprit, but when reviewing the footage, he was absolutely shocked at what he saw. Richard says for the longest time, he thought things only happened while he was away, but soon he began to notice very strange things happening while he was home as well. This led him to start setting up a camera in his room. Richard has been following our channel for a few months now, and knowing we were from Manitoba, he sent us the clips that he captured and we knew immediately after seeing them that we needed to investigate. Richard allowed us to stay in his house for two nights while he was on the road, which gave us 48 hours to try to uncover the identity of the spirit haunting Richard's house, and presumably the author of a killer's journal. The man 
one that wrote in this was clearly disturbed. He's obviously a, a veteran and had been in, in a war. And uh, one en entry actually describes him killing a man. It goes into very great detail on that. And there's all kinds of other stuff in here too, like uh, maps and coordinates. He, he does go into detail on some of his hunts and he actually describes um, torturing animals before he kills them. When did this all start happening? Like, can you pinpoint like a certain event or a certain point of time? Um, well, I'd say it all really started happening when I found this journal um, in the attic. So you set up cameras. Uh, it was pretty incredible stuff, but what was the thing that made you set up the cameras? What was the thing that started it? Every time I would leave, I would come home and it would seem like something always changed. Like, um, you no know, lights would be left on when I knew that I had turned them off before I left. And, uh, things would be moved around. And just had a, a strange feeling coming home every time. I, I thought that there was somebody you know, squatting in my house. Right. So you wanted to set the cameras to see if anybody, or to see who it was. Yeah. Right. Um, but you also mentioned on the phone when we talked to you that there was some there was an odor um, as well. Yeah, it almost smelled like a, a butcher shop. A butcher shop? Yeah. Um, I gotta say that some of the best paranormal footage that, that I've ever seen. Um, who do you believe wrote the journal then? I honestly have no idea. What are you hoping to find out from our investigation? Well, I'm kind of hoping that you guys are able to bring peace to whatever is here and hopefully uh, bring an end to the things that are happening. If anybody's here, please make a noise, or you know what? Finish this. We've seen what you can do. Otter. 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 It's very impressive. Whoop. Is that you? That was me. That's what it does. You can touch it and make that noise. The piano actually belongs to my daughter and it was an idea that I've been thinking about using for a while to bring the piano because it's very simple for a spirit to be able to just touch something and, and make a noise that we can hear. Yeah, all you have to do, just walk up to it. You can touch it like See, that. look at this. I was shining at her the entire time. It's gotta be. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard. I'm not sure what that was. It was definitely from over there. Oh, it scared me. Oh, man. Quarter. Quarter. Quarter? Can you knock something off a shelf or move something? We've seen that you can move a whole bunch of things. You know what you can do, it's very impressive. You wanna see it? Hi. Oh, this thing freaks me out. <laughs> that was loud. It was loud it's like this coming from upstairs. I'll check it out. I wonder if, uh, you know what though? Cause he left, I wonder if that's when it's gonna start. It's been, it's been a while, but. Yeah, very true. Person. Person. person? Is there a person here? Remember he said that it, he feels like a person keeps coming here? Yes. That's creepy.
What it say? Bad. What? Bad. Bad person. Bad person? Are you a bad? Were you a bad person? Yeah. Yeah. Are, if you're the same guy that wrote in the journal, yeah, you are a bad person. So this is where he sleeps. Yeah. And look, there's the attic. That's where he said he found the journal. Yeah, that's right. Granddad. Granddad? granddad? His granddad? Remember his I, grandpa? I asked him. Yeah. Remember I asked him, like, do you think it was his... This is kind of an off-the-wall question, but do you think that the spirit or the author of the journal could possibly be your grandfather? No, no I don't think there's any chance of that. Um, my grandparents were good people and um, my grandfather was a hunter, but I know that he would never do any of the kind of, kind of things that were written in the journal. Did your, did your grandparents know about the journal? I don't think they did, no. They never spoke about it or anything? No. I believe him when he says that his grandfather was a good man and he wouldn't do anything like what was described in the journal. But I can't ignore the fact that of all times for the obvious to say grandfather, it would be right now. His grandfather who wrote the journal. He said no though. He said he But at the same him. time, you're, he's gonna be biased, right? Like he's Dad. not gonna think it was his grandpa. Was it his grandpa? Is this his, if we're talking to his grandpa right now, can you let us know? That bed freaks me out. Yeah, like why? I don't understand that. Well, you know, maybe like, I don't know. Isn't it kind of strange that, whoa. Isn't it kind of strange that, whoa. Isn't it kind of strange that, Whoa. What is that? Let's we gotta check it out. Oh. What? The pillows are on the ground. You say your name was was Dan? What? Hole. Look at that. I heard it upstairs. Were you were you in a village? Were you fighting in a in a village? I read your journal. I know what you did to that guy. Oh, shit. If your name is Dan. Mm -hmm. You. Thank you for being active and moving things. Thank you for letting us know that you're here. Whoa. Did you hear that? Oh, that creep. I was standing totally still. Really? I thought you took a step. No. When I moved, it's not like that. It felt like somebody took a step right beside me. I'm just waiting for something else to happen. I feel like I don't even have to say anything. Oh shit, it's gonna be again.
What did it say? News. Dan, how old are you? News. Were you on? Were you in the news for what you did? I don't. Th I don't think so, though. I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. Like when this guy was even around. Victory. Victory. That's a weird one. Yeah, like one, he was a soldier. Yeah. Like when the I know war. you were you were you were victorious over the the guy you killed, and it sounded pretty intense. And like the way he said, like like how he felt that power. He just wants to feel that power. It's like he wants mm -hmm. that victory. You know. What he was getting at. Ease. At ease. Like at ease, soldier? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, the first thing that came to my mind. It's a weird place. Yeah, man. Dan, I'd like to know how old you were, how old you are. What are you thinking? Sand. 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 Like on a beach, is that where you were fighting? Man, I really, like there's nothing, I read through that journal, there's nothing that's like dated or anything like that. Nothing down, no. nothing? He doesn't ever like say his name or anything. That was a definite knock. That that if that's you, knock? can you knock again? Oh yeah. Oh. Came from that back room over there. Yeah. Came from somewhere over here. I heard it from in here. It sounded like it was in this corner. I thought it sounded like, yeah, like. Orb. Orb? Is there, can we see an orb somewhere? In here? Oh my God. It's a news again. again. Is there like a news newspaper? A newspaper? What's with all these weird kids' books? I don't know. These old ones. I guess those are the books that he would have. Probably he grew up reading those yeah. with his grandparents. Oh, man. Screen. 
screaming. Scream. Whoa. I heard somebody, like, telling me there's somebody upstairs right in this corner. We're walking around over here. Right where I felt that footstep, too. Yeah, it was like right here where you felt it? Yeah, like right there. Right over here? But I felt like it was like, I was like, trouble. Really, trouble? Are you going to give us some trouble? That's what we came for. We're always getting into trouble, apparently. Move this chair again. It's so strange. It's like he just kept it exactly the way his grandparents left it. That should it makes sense because he's never home. Yeah. You know, he's never here. But you think he'd switch something like this is all the same like stuff. Ice. Yeah, it was freezing in here when we got here, though, remember? It was, yeah, it was really cold. Dan. Ben? Dan. Dan? Is that your name? This book's called Many Surprises. Rest. Rest. In the bed? Do you want us to lay in the bed? Go lay in the bed. <sighs> this is weird that it just gave like it's a granddad right away. It's like it's almost like we don't even have to like pry too much into who the guy was. You no, know, just wants to say. Yeah. It usually doesn't happen that quick. Reason. 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 Did you have? What reason did you have? No. Way. Oh, holy shit. It just flicked the light on. I don't even know what to say. What's the reason? Why only after he found the journal? What is the reason? That was ridiculous. And now quiet. Yourself. Yourself. That didn't really make sense with what I asked you. You saying I would do it myself if I was in your shoes? Can you turn the light on again? Say what you want about faulty wiring in an old house, but when those lights turned on, you could actually hear the snap of the switch. And if you've ever been in an old house yourself, you know that turning on a switch can sometimes feel like the force required to turn on a breaker. It's saying some pretty wild stuff though. The noise is down there. What? Left. Like it left? Or like look to the left. There's just a wall beside me. Wisdom. Wisdom. Have you gained wisdom? Okay. Who's that? Definitely just noise, weird noises coming from downstairs. 
The next day we spent most of our Thursday taking a closer look at the journal and actually studying it a lot more. We were very interested in the coordinates that he had jotted down on one page. The location was about 65 miles away from the house. Since we didn't plan on running any tests at the house until about midnight, we decided to try to find the spot that the coordinates led to. One of the most chilling journal entries was one where he fantasized about killing another lonely hunter far away from civilization so that he can once again experience the thrill of taking another man's life while he looks into his eyes. Our plan was to come in from the east, but because we could not get our vehicle through to that side due to a swampy area, we had to hike through the dense woods from the west side. What we found at the spot of the coordinates was a clearing that was very suitable for camping with a few stacks of firewood around the area. We originally thought that we were going to find animal bones or something related to the animal sacrifices that he talked about in the journal, but we later realized that if he did plan on taking another hunter's life, this would be the ideal spot if hunters regularly camped at this location. Man, it's so... You okay? Yeah, I'm good. The bugs are so bad. Where is it? Which way do we have to go? Uh, <clears throat> Sucks, there's no trail out here. Oh. What's that? What are we, and that, man, what are we looking for? <sighs> Getting eaten alive. What's this? I said down tree. Watch out, there's big rocks right here. And they're like flying in my mouth. The spot is? This shows down the map. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh man, they're so bad. Ow. <coughs> what is that, firewood? Oh my god. Oh, fuck. <coughs> 